Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Hey, hey, you what up, everybody? This is Jayton Gunter, owner of Grapes of Sand Publishing. It is officially the last day of the year, 2021, and I just want to say... It's been a hell of a year. Uh, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, in which I go find a wine that is under twenty dollars. It's punched above its weight, and I believe I definitely have one today. Uh, I want to first, before I get into the wine, thank everybody who's been rocking with me uh, thus far. I think we're like a hundred and some odd, uh, hundred and some odd, uh, like the teens um, episode right now for Wine Still of the Week. And I am so happy to have been able to bring this content to you guys. I'm going to continue to rock, continue to go. Um, I also want to thank people who are brand new to the channel, who uh, are just checking me out for the first time. Welcome. Uh, I'm glad, I hope this is the, a nice intro episode for you. Um, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Any wine-related questions or DM me any wine questions, I'm always here to educate and help. And if I don't know the answer, because no one knows all the answers, I will try to find it out for you. Uh, another thing before I get into the wine is I want to, uh, shout out to a long time listener, uh, someone who asks me questions all the time, one of my brothers, family to me, uh, and then also his lady and also family is my sister-in-law, uh, JR and John, um, just thank you for always supporting me, thank you for always checking in on my channel, and John, I know you're going through some stuff right now, brother, but, um, you know, we're always here for you, uh, we love you, um, and yeah, man, like, I just appreciate everybody who's been uh, who's been uh, really just you know engaging with me in in regards to life and wine and everything like that. So, with all that being said, you guys are not here for all that. You're here for the wine. So let's get away from the serious stuff. Let's get into like the fun part, which is why this channel was brought to you. Why this why this uh, show is here for you. Um, let's get right into it. So today uh, we are talking about we're in Columbia Valley. Uh, we are talking about 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon. This is called the Pendulum. I see that label right there, the Pendulum. So this is the thing, and I've said it before, and I, I get people don't like when I say it, but it's the truth. It's just I, I said what I said, <laughs> kind of thing. Like this is the ground I'm. This is like the uh, hill I'm dying on as of right now. Uh, I can change any day, but like this is just kind of the hill I die on. Um, when it comes to Washington wines, I feel like Washington wine. Uh, consistency-wise, uh, beats almost every other place in the United States. Um, I'm not talking about the high-end stuff because, again, Napa, Sonoma, there's some other stuff, places throughout California that you know they're high-end wines. They're they're like really prestigious wines. May beat out uh, the top top shelf stuff from Washington, but consistency-wise and price-wise, value-wise, I feel like uh, Washington State wines are killing it. Uh, like they just do. They they. They're, they're just balanced. They remind me of Bordeaux in a lot of ways because there's some restraint there. There's some boldness, but there's some restraint there. Um, there's always a lot of balance going on there. I just really dig them. Um, so with that being said, let's get right into this one. <clears throat> on the nose. Whew, yeah, so I this is a perfect wine to end up on. So I immediately get like black cherry. I'm getting cassis. I'm getting like... Uh, Definitely some wet soil going on here, too. So it reminds me of Bordeaux. And you know me. I always say that when I smell wet soil in a wine, like when it's more lean, leaning towards that and the darker black fruits, it tends to remind me of Bordeaux. So even though this is in Washington, it's, these are Bordeaux grapes. It's Cabernet Sauvignon. So um, it's reminded me of uh, Bordeaux right there. There's also, also like some coffee grounds going on here. There's uh, some really deep cacao, chocolate. I'm getting like, um, I would say... Uh, 80% or more dark chocolate uh, here. There's a little bit of cardamom, uh, as f like a little bit of like a cardamom thing going on here as a secondary note. There's definitely like uh, old school, like old tobacco, uh, cigar, cigar box type tobacco going on here too. A little bit of plum skin, a little bit of tart plum skin, but that's a secondary too. This smells amazing. Like, this is just, it, it's already screaming, let, 
Like, stop smelling me. Let's drink, brother. And I'm with you. Let's go. Like, this is it's New Year's Eve, baby. Let's go for the wine. That's what we're here for. Uh, so let's get her into it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, talk to me. So, let's talk about structure first. Tannins are medium plus to high. I'm kind of teetering that line. This is a real Cabernet Sauvignon. This is not a little play play. This is a real Cabernet Sauvignon with some big tannin. Um, 2018, so it's young. Maybe that'll smooth it out, but it's there. It lets you know that it can age quite a bit here. Uh, acid, I would say, is um, medium. Um, I would say the length on finish here is long. Um, the weight, is, this is a full-bodied wine. Let's go ahead and taste a little bit more. Mm. So up front, that kind of black cherry cassising is what kicks off this whole uh, flavor profile. Uh, it goes all the way to the mid palate. As the mid palate hits, you get this kind of like, um, you get this kind of um, like uh, the earthy things come out. So you get like kind of this uh, wet soil, this um, like damp leaves, like um, coffee grounds thing going on. Uh, you also get a little bit of this um, this clove thing on the finish. This clove thing is actually really jumping out at me. I'm digging it. This I love this. This is really dope here. You get a little bit of that kind of bitter dark chocolate on the finish. This is a wonderful wine. This is a wine that you buy... Buy it, you buy it to taste it. It's tasting really good right now, but you also buy like a case of this because when I tell you the price, you're going to lose your mind if you can get your hands on this wine. And then you sit it down. You buy a case of this. I'm sorry, this is a case. As soon as I tasted it originally, this is not the first time I tasted it. I tasted this uh, about two weeks ago. First time I tasted it, I was like, oh, I'm getting the case. And I literally went back the next day before I ran out and bought a case. And I found there's, there's some at some other places too. So, um, yeah, this is a this is a caseable wine. This is a sit down for like the next ten years. Uh, it's already singing right now, but it's gonna be even better in ten years. Highly recommend this wine. Uh, I got this from Grocery Outlet. Yes, I'm in it on Grocery Outlet for our uh, still of the week, and this has kind of been the, I guess, the underlying uh, basis of this show this year has been a lot of gro good finds in Grocery Outlet. Um, find this found this at Grocery Outlet for under ten dollars. So this is a must buy for a case. It's amazing. I love this wine, and you got to get it yourself. Um, oh, uh, before question of the day. Um, I have a lot of things coming to you guys in the new year. Um, I'm considering dropping a poetry book on my birthday, which is January 26th. Uh, I was planning on doing it, like, in March, but, I mean, I've been really rocking on this uh, poetry book, and I'm really digging it, and I think it'd be a good way to kind of put it out on my birthday. So um, let me know what you guys think about that. We'll see. Maybe I may be publishing a, a poetry book uh, on the 26th of January along uh, with definitely buy, get your pre-orders. Uh, uh, it's a vibe with me and Armando Tam, him being the chef, me and being the psalm, um, as our cookbook. Definitely check that out. Uh, get get that. You can go to mygrapesandsand.com to order that. Or if you're buying in bulk, hit me directly so I can give you the discounted rate because they're both discounted, but it's a little bit more when you buy bulk. And, um, yeah, guys, I, I really hope you guys have a wonderful year. I hope you guys have plotted out exactly how you want next year to go and stay focused, trust in yourself, um, keep on focusing forward, uh, and stay in the present when you're doing stuff, but also think about the future so that you can execute to that, to that, uh, end. So anyway, I love you guys. Happy new year until next time, guys. She, oh, question of the day. I'm sorry. Can't end without a question of the day. Um, do you like Washington State wines? And if you do, what is your favorite label? I'm asking for a friend. That friend being me. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>